So when you're building websites with PHP, um, a large majority of the time you're going to be working also with a database. MySQL is the, probably the most common database that's used in conjunction with PHP. And the reason that uh, you need to understand which database that you're working with when you're writing your PHP code is that you need to create a connection between the two of them. So PHP, the interpreter, that's one program that's sitting on the web server. And the MySQL is another program. So you've got these two programs sitting on the server and you need to have them communicate with one another. The way you do this is by creating a connection. So we're going to use PDO, so PHP data objects. This is going to be the connection that we use for connecting MySQL and PHP. And with this connection, you're going to be able to run your SQL queries. So you'll be able to ask the database for information to be sent back that you can then use to generate the content on your web pages. This video is intended to be just talking about the connection. So I have a sample page here called usingpdo.php. It's just this. There's nothing special about it. I've got a PHP block at the top, a PHP block at the bottom, up at the top, inside of here. Session start is something that you're commonly going to have. You don't need that for the database, but it's something you're probably going to end up with in your page. And another common practice is to require, so including a page, and the sole responsibility of this page is going to be to connect to your database. So let's take a look at this page. Uh, I have a sample version here. I've got four variables I've defined up at the top, a name for the database, a name for the database user that I'm going to use, a database password. So the username and password are what I'm going to use to connect to this specific database. And this is the host. So this is the IP address of the database that you're connecting to. Most of the time, you've got PHP and MySQL sitting on the same computer. And if that's the case, localhost is going to be the name of the, of the computer. So PHP is going to be looking for MySQL sitting on the same computer. That's what localhost means. The command that we're going to use is we're going to create a PDO object. So we're going to call the constructor method new PDO. And then this is what we need to include there. There's three different things. First one, using the protocol MySQL colon host equals, and then the DB host, that's going to be localhost. If you want, instead of concatenating a bunch of strings together, you can just write localhost here, but this is a fairly common practice that I use. DB name equals, and then DB name. So that's the first string, all this together. The host is localhost, and the database name is the name of your database. Then you're going to pass in your username and a password. MySQL is going to use the username and the password to see if you have permission to talk to this specific database. We're putting this inside of a try-catch block. If this fails, there was some sort of problem communicating with the database, you're going to have an error. So that's what this error variable is, and it is of type PDO exception. We are going to, from this object, get the error message and then write out on the screen error database connection problem this. And optionally, if you want, we can also add an exit command here. So that means if it fails to connect, the whole process is going to end right here. This is going to exit from the page and you're just going to get that message. So I've connected this. Now, this right here, this database does not exist currently. So that's what I wanted to demonstrate here. I run this, there. So the page isn't coming up. None of this content is coming up. Only the error message that was generated. So database connection problem, that was the part that I had hard coded. Here is the message. Access denied for user ABCD0001 at localhost using password. So couldn't connect to the database. The reason why? We don't have a connection. There, that database doesn't exist. All right, this is PHP MyAdmin. If you've got MAMP set up and running on your computer, you're going to have, be able to go to HTTP, localhost, PHP MyAdmin. 
And this is going to be the location of this website called phpMyAdmin that allows you to access your database. What I'm going to do so that this can work is I'm going to create a database called this. I'm going to create a user called this. And I'm going to set password as its password. So let's test this out. Add user account. And here, let's expand this so it's a little bit easier to read. There we go. So username, that's going to be my ABCD0001 host name. It's my local host. Password is password, just because that's what I wrote here. I would never actually use password as my password for a database connection. That's just asking for problems. And then below this section, database for user account, I want to create a database with the same name. So ABCD, that's my name. I want to create a database with the same name, and I'm going to grant all permissions to this user on that database. Scroll to the bottom, click Go. And there we go. So I'm not going to save that. There, now I have created that. So here it is. Here's this brand new database. If I click on that, there we go. Now I'm inside this database. I don't have any tables or anything inside of there, but I have a user called ABCD0001, and there's a database with that name. So this should now work. If I go back to my web page and I refresh this, ta-da, it's working now. So this included the connection attempt right here and it worked we're not uh, outputting anything here we're just creating that connection and that means that we have this variable called pdo i can now inside of here use my variable pdo to run queries to fetch information from the database to add information to the database i can use it to create tables do whatever i want whatever i need for my website. One last comment, this PDO variable. Best practice, at the end of every one of your pages, if you are connecting to the database to run queries, setting the connection variable to null, that's going to clear out your connection, and it means that you're not going to be hanging on to that connection and using up resources on the server. You're going to be telling it explicitly, hey, you know what, I'm done with the database. You can if you want. If you're not going to use the PDO variable inside the page here anywhere, if you're just using it up at the top, you can do this PDO equals null up at the top here after you've done all your work with the database too. If you're going to be looping through records to write them out inside the body, put this bit of code down at the bottom. All right, so I will create code gists for each of these two pages and leave those in the comments. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching.